Hey, it's Erica, the Design Diva. My purpose is to make you pop on paper and shine online. This is a demo of how to add links and make edits to your Linktree account once you have it set up. It's really easy to get set up, so I'm not going to you know, bore you with the details of that. So this is the link tree that I have set up for uh, Design Diva Studios. And basically you see right now I, I have a lot of templates. I, I'm sorry, a lot of links already in the link tree. So I have 10 uh, so far. So I'm going to go over to the uh, regular page here. Let's see. And once you get logged in, you will see if you have any, if you don't have any links, you'll, this will be blank. But if you do have links, you can add a new link by just clicking this button up here. And once you click that button, all you'll do is add the, um, you'll add the title that will show up on the button. And then you'll just add the URL. So all you got to do is copy and paste it. Okay. So like I have this one right here for the Canva templates. Um, let's see if there was something else I would want to just do like um, step and repeat. Let's see. So I had like a step and repeat um, banner special, right? So I just copy that URL, however you do, you know, like to do copy. And I would just do add new link. And I would put the title. And whenever, you know, okay. And then over here, I will paste the URL in there, okay? And it takes a few seconds for it to refresh, but you'll see it there at the top in just a second. And of, I love this little preview because you can see exactly, you know, what, you're, what you got going on there. All right. The other thing that you can do while I'm waiting for that to update, you can actually come over here and you can uh, reorder them. So um, all you got to do is the three little dots here. You just kind of grab it. If I want to put the consultation at the top, I can do that. Okay. And see schedule consultation, step and repeat, banner special, and wherever, however else you want to uh, move things around. Okay. So let's move that up. Boom. And the other thing is that you can go ahead and you can turn it off. So this, since this banner special is over, and but I've said, you know what? Maybe I'll bring it back in a couple of months. I can turn that one off and it won't show, but it'll still stay in here. So all I gotta do is come back when I'm ready to turn it on. I just edit here and turn it back on. And now it's still, it's there. So I didn't have to do like, I didn't have to do too much. And yeah, I'm good to go. So that's one of the really good things. I'm, I'm gonna turn that off because I don't want anybody to go to it. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to show you is that you can actually change your, the appearance of uh, the way it looks. And there are some um, additional options that are in the pro version, but with the free version, they do have, you know, a few basic ones and some <laughs> that are very decorative. So you can, uh, you can change that here. And of course, some other, like I said, other options are available. You can change the fonts and everything uh, if you have the pro version. Then the settings, this is one thing that is, um, one of the, um, I'll say newer features, it's not new, but it's a newer feature. But you see how I have did on, on the preview, Design Diva Studios uh, Facebook page? Well, you don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to use a link here. You don't have to create a link for it. They actually have on the settings tab, you can go in, you can put your social links and how people can contact you. So instead of me having that Facebook link there, I can just, pop my URL to Facebook in there. And let's see, what I do wrong? Okay, there we go. I had a space up front. So now let's tab away and you'll see the little Facebook icon shows up on the bottom, all right? And then the other thing is like when we're for some of them, you have to put the at symbol and your user ID. So you just kind of have to read because uh, at first I was messing this up when I did this with somebody. So, <laughs> so you make sure you put your ad symbol because if you don't, like if I just put this is Design Diva Studios, it's going to say it's invalid. If I try to put the whole URL, it's going to say the same thing. So I'll put that ad symbol there and just kind of follow what they're saying for each one of the items there. So I put Facebook and Instagram and I'm going to go over back to, let's see, just 
just making sure, yeah, there's no save button. So it kind of just, you know, just kind of updates. So I'm going to go back to my links uh, list. And I am going to delete that Facebook link. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Facebook page, okay, because I don't need it anymore. And I don't have to turn it off because, again, it's down at the bottom. I can just turn delete it and I will delete it forever. Yes. Okay. So now it's gone from the preview and let me refresh the actual uh, page. And now you see uh, creative consultation, the call, the Canva templates, everything is there. And then Facebook and Instagram links are down at the bottom. Okay. So hope this helps you. If you have any questions about Linktree, you can get in time contact with me. Go to Linktree for slash this is design new studios. And you can schedule a quick Q&A call with me right from my link tree. See, how useful is that? It's so awesome that I'm able to actually utilize what I actually taught uh, in, at the end of this. And uh, this is Erica Design, Design Diva. Remember that you don't choose what happens in your life, but you do choose how you respond and react to everything. Until next time, it's Erica, the Design Diva.